this is a brief PowerPoint about the business letter assignment. So business letters. Inquiry letters should be kept short and to the point. Obviously, inquiry letter is where you ask a question. Be sure to give the context for your inquiry, like how do you know the person or why do you have this question. Include not more than five clearly written questions. Use words numbering function if needed to make questions clearer for the reader. Always remember the only thing the reader knows about you is based on the letter, so don't assume some pre-existing relationship. Claim, adjustment, or complaint letters. Claim letters request adjustments for defective goods or products or complain of unfair treatment or situations. Even though you're complaining, you should be courteous and reasonable and try not to sound like you're whining. Explain the problem clearly and, if appropriate, suggest a solution or ask a question. You can either take the direct or indirect approach in letters. When you're, doing, when you're saying something positive, you should take the direct approach. If you're saying something negative or complaining, you should take the indirect approach. With the direct approach, you get right to the point in the beginning of the letter. Like, I am interested in whatever, whatever, because I have these skills. With the indirect approach, first you say something positive or affirmative, and then you or give a compliment, and then you do your complaints. You say, well, I appreciate your restaurant service over the last five years, et cetera, et cetera, um, and I am a faithful customer. I have had a bad experience recently, something like that, and then go into your complaint. Avoid overusing the word I. In these letters, it's not about you, really. I mean, it is about you, but you need to make the reader understand why if they do something, whatever it is you want them to do, they will benefit. So you need to write it from the reader's perspective instead of your own self-centered perspective. Okay, So you're trying to be persuasive, so you want to tell them, how they will benefit by helping you, addressing your claim, answering your inquiry, or whatever it is you're going to do. The letter must connect to the reader. To connect to the reader, emphasize the reader and not the I. So it's not, I don't like this, I don't like that, I want you to do this, I want you to do that. Try not to do that. Try not to do that in the letter. Emphasize the you, not the I. Make yourself disappear. So make the, write, the writing seem kind of flat so that you're own individual personality isn't supposed to come through that much in these kind of letters. Combine sentences where you can revise out too many eyes. That's one way to do it, combine, sentence. combine sentences. Formatting the letters, block everything on your left margin, type single space, double space between paragraphs, okay, block everything on your left margin, type single space, double space between paragraphs. You have block paragraphs, not the indented kind that you do for when you write essays. Each letter should contain the following elements. Some kind of heading, a date line, address to, subject line or reference line, salutation, dear whoever, body of letter, complimentary close, signature block, and notations. So, you know, CC or BCC or enclosures or whatever. If your letter goes on the second page, follow the format requirements as presented on page 418 of Land 10th edition. When you have a continuation page, the last paragraph on page 1 should contain at least two lines of text, while the last page should have at least two lines of text to accompany the complementary close. Signature block and end notes. So, um, you have to make sure that you're you don't just go on to the second page and only have your signature block. Basically, you need at least two lines of text. 